Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, now I am going to design share wall in ETAPS 2016. So for this we will start uh, modeling of share wall. Here I will delete these four columns and I will draw share wall. Select uh, all stories. Delete this one, this one, this one. Okay. Now I will define the share wall. We'll choose the unit unit it's okay define wall section modify share all we'll check 8 inch okay write the name sw 8 and concrete strength 4000 psi add copy of property sw 10 and strength 4000 psi and add copy of property sw 12 12 okay three types of uh, share of we have defined so that we can uh, use auto design to select the thickness okay now we will draw the share we can define the new wall section for auto design add new property write auto select then auto select list select list these three add okay okay so this is our auto select share wall now we will draw as auto select auto peer uh, uh, or spandrel id i will choose yes now i will draw the share wall here 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 and here okay now i will mesh the select the object type wall or it is selecting stair also we will select the properties wall section auto select From here, deselect object type beam. Deselect. Okay. Now we will assign mesh. Wall auto mesh. We will use 12 inch. Okay. Apply. Now we will delete the beams here plan we can check create beam here also delete it okay now i can analysis and design the share wall by filtering the display i will display only the share wall I will select this one and deselect the object type beam deselect ok and now I will right click show selected object only this one I will design now for example I will design this uh, side share wall from top to from bottom to top so i will go to the elevation number three elevation photo elevation uh, three apply so now here i will design this section because this is at the lowest level 
this and this two okay now we will select a joint this one it is a joint level 84 and the roof a story level ground floor roof okay now we will apply the set lateral displacement target here we will delete all we will start from fresh uh, wx ground floor roof joint level 84 maximum displacement allowable we will calculate uh, this height of the share all this joint is in 5.486 meter 5.486 meter the height we will take from the base because the seismic effect uh, is coming from the base from here to here the height then allowable allowable uh, displacement lateral displacement we will take 54.8 that means 54 millimeter now we will assign this value maximum we will select choose for example 50 50 millimeter ground floor roof 84 50 this wx minus now w y and wi minus similarly qx qx minus qy qy minus now we will choose the level okay. joint level 84 84 84 84 84 and 84 this 50 50 50 50 50 and 50 this will take a little bit time to assign the lateral displacement target okay now we will check the design override go to design share all design view or revise tier overrides here the reinforcing option uniform reinforcing to design the auto selected uh, auto select share wall we have to use uniform reinforcing reinforcing option for the reinforcement design and it, it will be designed according to aci 31814 code okay now we will go for analysis then we will design the share wall then we will get the uh, auto selected section by the program now we will run the analysis after the analysis we will go for share all design to get the auto select section start design or check after finishing the design we will right click on the share wall we will see this is 10 inch thickness share wall selected and now here we will check the displacement for this point whether we can choose thinner section or not we will check from this apply ok this is the ground floor roof and the this is in millimeter the displacement is 4.5 millimeter then we will go for wy wx minus ground floor roof 4.5 for qx it is coming less 3.29 so 4.5 or 4.6 is the maximum displacement so we can use thinner section 
and it will be we will first we will check the undeformed shape and here we want to see the wall section wall general the object assignment frame assignment joint shell section okay so it is now 10 inches share all we will rerun the analysis to uh, auto select the thinner section by etabs so let's see rerun the analysis after the second analysis see the share all has been selected as 8 inch share all so now uh, we will not design under the uh, 8 inch share all we will not design for 7 inch or 6 inch minimum we will design for 8 inch share all so we have got our uh, desired section share all section now we will design for the reinforcement let finish the analysis fully refreshing the window okay so our mm, share all thickness we have got 18 now we will design as it is designing in in uniform reinforcing option so we will go for that design let's design this one share all start design and check so after designing we have got the reinforcement this bottom and this top so we will design for this reinforcement 7000 438 and this length from here this is I 5.99 meter this Y okay this, then it is coming for X 9.829 11.9 so it is almost 2 meter 9.829 and this 11.9 so it is 2.1 meter the length so let's start for reinforcement design thickness of the shell 18 so this is okay length 6 uh, here we have got 2.1 meter okay and height height we will get we will take the height floor height ground floor height this is jet 5.48 and 1.8 that means 3.6 meter almost i am showing as for example 3.6 meter okay and from the etabs required vertical reinforcement is 7438 seven four three eight millimeter square 14 millimeter it is coming 86 millimeter spacing so we have to use 16 millimeter tire bar so required spacing 110 113 we can use 110 millimeter so after using this spacing it will check the minimum required reinforcement ratio 0 0.0025 provided reinforcement ratio is 0 0.017 that means more than minimum required so it is okay maximum is facing uh, 3 option 3 into thickness 18 inch and length of 1 divided by 3 according to ACI 31814 and all this spacing is satisfying by 450 millimeter minimum maximum allowable spacing and we have provided 110 so you see this is okay we are we are we have designing we have designed this uh, section for the uh, 
from or the basement to ground floor roof from base to ground floor roof we will use this section now we will design the shear reinforcement we will check the reinforcement information shear reinforcing apply okay so this is coming point 98 millimeter square per medium we will use meter we will go to unit form and river area river area per length millimeter square per meter okay so this is coming 978 that means 980 here 980 and the spacing will come from here this is two and spacing this and this is meter one meter so 1000 millimeter length okay so required spacing is coming 160 millimeter we will use 10 millimeter dia bar we will provide 150 so it is okay minimum required reinforcement ratio and maximum spacing 420 we have provided 150 so this is our design for base to ground floor roof we can uh, continue this reinforcement up to ground floor roof or sorry up to first floor roof we we should continue the reinforcement minimum two floor then we can provide the curtailment from here we can choose the less reinforcement for example it is 508 that means 510 okay here it is coming 300 millimeter spacing but we will provide maximum 200 sorry here we will choose 200 and for particle reinforcement we will choose we will see first the required reinforcement apply okay so here it is coming one three two three okay we will provide one three two three here we can use 14 millimeter dia bar or from from 16 to 12 we cannot come from 16 to we have to we, we can come to 14 millimeter dia bar and we will provide 200 millimeter spacing so this this is for our upper section from uh, ground floor first floor roof this this two three we can continue from here to next two floor then 5f roof to start top we can provide another reinforcement here we will choose here top floor it is coming uh, more 1443 so we will we cannot change this one okay, we can choose 1443 we can choose 12 millimeter bar that also that will also satisfy the required reinforcement spacing come required spacing coming 325 we are providing 200 so at the top we can reduce the steel this is coming more reinforcement at top because of the seismic or wind effect lateral force so from 5f roof to above we can this provide this reinforcement well. so in this way we can design the shear wall using e tabs we can go for detailing also in e tabs go to detailing here you can choose your detailing preference concrete component preference wall river selection rule other things then you go for start detailing
will go for all reinforcement case view so this is our reinforcement drawing sheet we can see the drawing sheet wall reinforcement elevation this is our reinforcement elevation we can print this drawing sheet Sheet. so PS we have to modify this one landscape so this is the drawing okay other elevation this this so in this way we can generate detailing also and this we can export to txf file also print a drawing sheet export drawing sheet okay we can export in dxf file also press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update